Tito Ortiz here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And now you're doing what uh, many uh, fighters are doing as well, which is broadening out, branching out. Is this your first film performance? Or no, this is like my eighth film I've done. Wow, okay. I've done, but I've done a lot of smaller films, you know. Um, I never, actually I had one opportunity to do a, a big film. It was uh, Cradle to the Grave with Jet Li and DMX. And this was in 2003 when okay. I was a world champion. Okay. Um, and I sat there and watched him go, cut, all right, and action, cut, mm -hmm. all right, and action, mm -hmm. cut, over. And I was like, they get this many chances to do this? <laughs> and they just, I was like, you know, I'm a perfectionist, and if I'm able to do that that many times, I, I want to learn this. Well, I mean, doing what, doing what you do for a regular living, I mean, yeah. it, it's a one-take artist. There's no there's no second, third takes Well, I mean, you we get that in training. You know, I think right. we're putting okay. in a rigorous go. training group. I'm sure. training camp um, of this camp I've had for this fight has been 17 weeks and I got two more, or a week and a half left. But uh, it's just having the dedication, have the dedication and, and giving yourself out. And something that I've learned over the last few years is uh, Dwayne Johnson is, is being willing to expose yourself and not being afraid to fail. And that's always been a hard thing for me because I, I always wanted to be successful in everything I do. So to fail and to let myself out and open and be vulnerable, yeah. um, it's kind of hard, but I think over the last year, I've kind of accepted it and I've learned it. And it's, it's a trait to learn the acting skills, but uh, Dwayne Johnson is someone who I really look up to. He's made the uh, transition yes. from uh, professional wrestling into acting. I mean, he's, he's a blockbuster. He, he's the number one star on planet Earth right I mean, now. You could make that argument. For a argument. long, long, long time, that guy is an amazing, hardworking man that uh, I inspire to be. I'm, I'm a person who I look up to, for sure. Well, Trauma Center is the name of this film that comes out uh, in theaters on demand Friday, December 6th. Bruce Willis yes. is in this. Yes. Um, you know, he played a fighter in Pulp Fiction. Yep. You know, yeah. who let pride mess with his mind, uh, according to Marcellus. I don't in think that Bruce film. Willis ages. It's crazy. I just, I seen him. I was like, God, you look exactly, you look like 20 years ago. What did he say? Yeah. And he was, uh, thank you. He's all, you're a really big guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he was, he was cool. He was a uh, very calm, mellow mannered man. Um, very respectful. Okay. Uh, you know, he was, he was cool. The first time I ever met him, I was kind of starstruck myself, um, but it was cool. It was He's Bruce years. Willis, man. Yeah. But in the film, actually, Nikki Whalen, who plays Madison, yes. who's the girl I chase around the hospital. We're seeing it right here. Now, you said you have not seen this footage before. I They're, have not seen this, any of this. This is you chasing around Nikki Whalen right now. Uh, in a stairwell and yeah, so throughout my the entire partner, take this battle. Um, we chase it, chase her around this hospital. Um, I ended up shooting myself by accident. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but let, let me tell you this, uh, this film took a little bit out of me. Um, there is, you know, a part of the film that, uh, I have to grab her and be very hands on. And yes. it's kind of scared me a little bit. I just, uh, I got, got off set and I kind of, I just had to take a set to sec to myself, but just. Like, okay, that was just your character. That was just That's your That's right, character. yeah. And it, so did you go to a place where you treated her like she was Chel Sonnen? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. To to where you went, you went I finally got a hold of her. Um, <laughs> but people got to watch the film. Good. People it's have good. to see it. It's yeah, again it's in, in theaters and on demand Friday, December 6th. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.